This one is going out to my Final Cut fam, and I've been wanting to find a workaround for this issue for years, and now I finally did it. So in this video, I will show you how you can import all your sound effects directly into Final Cut Pro 10. One, two, three, listen. So the first thing we need to do is find the folder where all our sound effects lie. And mine is right here. And this folder contains a huge variety of all kinds of different sound effects. Some we made ourselves, and a lot are from different sites like Artlist or Epidemic Sound. And if you want to tap into their huge variety of different sound effects, then there's links in the description below and you can get up to two months for free if you use one of those links. All right, now that we located our folder, what we need to do is we need to create an alias. And that is as simple as right clicking and press the make alias button. I've already done this, so this is my alias folder right here. And the next thing we need to do is we just need to copy it. Once we've done this, we need to navigate to our hard drive and that is usually called Macintosh HD. And then we go to library, audio, Apple loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro sound effects and we drop our newly created SFX alias folder right in here. And now we're already pretty much done. The next thing we need to do is we open Final Cut and now right under the Final Cut sound effects tab, we can find all of our effects. Let's go to the upper right corner and click on the effects tab. And now we can find our SFX alias folder and all of the sound effects that we gathered over the years. So whatever kind of sound effect we want to include into our video, we just click on the folder, we take it and just simply drag and drop it onto our timeline. And now we already have the sound effect that we're looking for. And it was that easy. Shocker, right? So there you have it. That was really simple. And this saves me a lot of time just looking for the different folders where I located all my sound effects. And whenever you got new sound effects, you just drop them into your original folder. No need to drop them into the alias folder and it will show up in Final Cut right after. Sometimes you need to give it a little bit time and sometimes you even need to restart Final Cut, but it will show up eventually and make your life easier from that point onward. Cool, I hope you liked this video and you found this trick helpful. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up button to help our channel grow, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you on the next one.